Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Becky, owner and creator of Quinny's Glitzy Tumblers. Today we're going to be working on a traditional beach tumbler. I will go ahead and link all the supplies needed below um, in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. The colors that I'm using are the, for the gold, I'm doing the khaki by Rust-Oleum. Uh, for the deep, or for the blue, I'm using deep blue. This is gonna be for the very top of it by Rust-Oleum. Lagoon by Rust-Oleum for the teal, the dark teal. And then of course I'm using my um, just flat white of Rust-Oleum. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with the bottom and I'm just doing this in quick little spurts. Um, I don't want to do too much in one spot. I don't want to just spray it because then you risk dripping all over the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with the base of it. And we're doing the base, the khaki color. This will be for the sand. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. My wind is shifting. Okay, so I'm going to do the sand. I don't like to have a huge area of sand, so I'm not going to spray too much. It's okay if you spray paint and overlap your colors. That is totally fine. This is just going to be a map for where you lay down your glitter. I'm going to go in with my flat white by Rust-Oleum. And even though the um, tumbler is already base painted, um, white. I'm just going to go over this to kind of give it a darker white color, cleaner look. Then I'm going to go in with my dark teal, which is the, the Lagoon from Rust-Oleum. I'm going to do the dark teal. And again, just in quick spurts, nothing super crazy. My white section, I like to be very, very small because that's just the white of the waves. That's just the white of the ocean. So we don't need it to be super, super crazy. I like my water to be the biggest portion of my tumbler. Okay, so there is the dark teal. Then I'm gonna go in with my deep blue from Rust-Oleum and finish off the top with this. Just going in short little spurts. And the short little spurts just ensure that I'm not spraying too much in one area so it doesn't drip. For the most part this is pretty good there's my ocean this is just the outline you can do this with spray paints or you can do it with acrylic paint you can do it with that honestly whatever you have on hand you don't necessarily have to do it with spray paints spray paints are just a quicker way to do things um, they make it a little bit easier so here is my beach tumbler i'm going to go ahead and set this down and let it dry this is the traditional beach tumbler and i'm just adding um a very, very thin layer of epoxy to it. Super, super thin layer. And this is just using the epoxy method so that the glitter sticks. We're using the epoxy as an adhesive. I'm gonna make sure the tumbler is completely covered. Okay, so this is completely covered. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna start with the darker colors first. I have my peachy olive glitters, um, Semper Fi, Semper Fi, Semper Fi, I think. Um, but it's a really pretty dark 
dark pigmented blue. I'm gonna start with the dark color first, then I'm gonna move on to the lighter teal, the turquoise color, and I'm going to be using Weekend at Bernie's and Ravenclaw by Peachy Olive Glitters. Both of these. Then we will go on to um, the gold, and I'm using Gold Member by Peachy Olive Glitters. And then I'm gonna move on to the white. Um, I think I'm going to do a mix. I was thinking about it. I think I'm gonna do a mix of, um, I think I'm gonna do a mix of a opal, a really, really thin opal. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do a mix of a thin opal and then also, um, which I have to grab uh, my Flurries by Peachy Olive as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the darkest color first. And I have my paper to catch anything that falls. And I'm gonna go ahead. So you all have seen, let me tilt you down a little bit Ooh, without losing you. Okay, you all have seen how I do my um, Gypsy Leopard. My Gypsy Leopard tutorial, it's going to be the same exact way I apply that glitter. I'm gonna start from super high above, and I'm gonna do, of each color, I'm gonna go in and do a light layer of the dark, a light layer of the lighter teal, a light layer of the gold, and a light layer of the white. And I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna apply a little bit at a time, then a little bit more at a time, then a little bit more at a time. And by doing that, um, I make sure that all of the colors are blended rather than just poured on and clumped together. Um, I don't like, as you guys know from my other tutorials, I don't like when the glitter is just like dark blue, teal, white. I don't like them to be like that. I like them to be more blended. So we're gonna start out and we're gonna do the same exact way I do the others. We're just gonna do really, really light, light layers. And I'm gonna bring the dark blue up to the um, teal line. And I'm actually going to bring it a little over the teal line, but I'm doing the lightest layer. And like I said, my reasoning for doing light layers like this is to get the glitters to blend better. So they're not such harsh lines. This will take longer than just dumping your glitter on. It will take longer, but you'll get a much better, prettier outcome, I promise. I promise, promise, promise. Whenever you do um, the glitter from super high like this, it blends them so much better. Hi, Jocelyn. Um, okay, so you guys can see, I can still see underneath. I can still see the underneath, um, the actual tumbler, and I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna move on to the next color and I'm gonna do a light layer of that. And we're gonna continue and we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth with these until it is completely covered. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and Ravenclaw, this is a kind of bluish, tealish color. It's kind of a bluish, tealish color. I don't know if you could see it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that between the dark blue and the teal. So it kind of gives it a more mixed feel. And hardly any is falling at all. If you can see this, like hardly anything. Okay, so there's towards the middle. I'm going to move on to my Weekend at Bernie's. And I have to say, you guys know that my favorite glitter company is Peach Olive Glitters, but you, like, I have to say, their blues, their blue glitter is some of the prettiest blues that I've ever seen. They're so beautiful. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Weekend at Bernie's. You can see this one, it's more of a teal, more of an ocean teal. And I'm just gonna continue sprinkling very light. Start where the white is and slowly sprinkle. And I'm gonna bring it up to the other colors. Bring it up to the other colors and sprinkle just a tiny bit. It's okay to have it overlap onto the other colors because that's gonna give it a blended look. This part you're just gonna do very slow. Like I said, I know it takes a while. I know that, but this is going to give you a much prettier feel. Okay, so there is that color. I'm gonna put the excess back in the container. And I'm going to move on to my gold. Okay, and I'm using Gold Member from Peachy Olive Glitters. And this isn't like a true gold, this is a more metallic -y gold color. On the traditional beach tumblers, I do like the more. Um, I do like the more metallic -y golds. And I'm gonna continue turning. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the bottom because I don't have to blend anything with the bottom. I just have to do the bottom gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the um, gold bottom. So now I'm going to go in with um, my flurries and this is um, a true white. This has no iridescent, nothing to it. There's no other colors in it. It's just a plain white. But I did want to try this time. I'm going to throw in a little bit of fine opal. Just a very little bit, not a ton. I just wanted to see, I wanted to see what it does, <laughs> how it makes it look. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle my true white on there. There's my white. I'm gonna hold off on the thin opal till one of the last layers. That way it's not overpowering and I don't have a ton of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my dark blue with the Semper Fi. Just gonna go back in and I'm going to pour more. And like I said, this is a very long process, I know, but I just want it to look more blended and nicer than me just dumping it on. Mm -hmm. 
slowly but surely just making my way around the cup. Um, oh, I can't reach. Sorry, I can't reach this. Okay, now that we're doing a tiny bit thicker of layers, that's where our pair of scissors or whatever you have, tap off the excess glitter. That way you don't um, mix your glitters together when you pour them back in their containers. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot stand when I do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my Ravenclaw Can you guys hear my daughter? is crazy okay can you see this how it's looking we're getting there guys getting there put that glitter back in gonna move back to the weekend at Bernie's the lighter teal Slowly rotating the cup. And sorry guys, this is the boring part, I know. I love doing it, but I know it's more boring watching somebody do it. Move back to the gold member, the gold portion, the bottom portion. Just slowly pouring it. Our next layer of glitter, our next round of glitter is going to be thicker. Now that we kind of have a base for it and we have majority of the cup covered, our next one is going to be our heavy pour. Okay, put the excess back in the thing. I'm going to move back to my flurries. I think I'm going to sprinkle a tiny bit more flurries because I see some bare spots. And then I'm going to go over it with the iridescent, with the opal. And I'm just making sure to sprinkle this flurries into the gold, into the top of the gold. Um, so that way it gives it more of a blended look. Any excess will fall off. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my opal. I think it's going to be pretty. 
Mm, I'm not going to pour this back into my container. It has a couple flakes of blue that I don't want in my white. Okay, let's go in with the opal. I'm going to go right over that white, kind of into the um, gold, and up into the teal. Oh, come on, I don't want to dump it. It's a bigger container to work with. And I wanted to try this because, as you guys know, opals have um, a teal shift to them. So I thought this would give it a pretty look. And I'm seriously putting the tiniest amount because I do not want to overdo it with opal. The opal is just kind of to give it a little bit of a, a color shift. So I'm not trying to overdo this. I am barely even putting any of this on. Just sprinkling a very tiny bit. And I'm bringing it up into the base of the teal the light teal. It's pretty. Like I said, I put hardly any on there, so it's not overpowering. It's just, you can barely, barely, barely see it. And it just adds a little more texture to it, honestly. So, Hi, Allie. So can you guys see this? It does have um, a little bit of a color shift now. So I did the base, the plain true white. Um, I did two layers of that and then just barely sprinkled this opal glitter over it. Barely sprinkled it just to give it a little bit of, um, it's really pretty. Give it a little bit of a color shift in the whites of the waves. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my dark blue, my Semper Fi, and now we're going to be doing thicker layers. So I already have my base on, I already have the blending done, so now we're just making sure that every part of the wet epoxy is completely covered. blending part is done. Just making sure that I have no open wet spots of epoxy. I love that even with these beach tumblers, I feel like even those all turn out so different. I saw somebody use actual sand for their bottom part, for their beach part, and it turned out so pretty. I was very impressed. I don't have any sand. I guess I could go to the dollar store. I'm pretty sure they sell sand bags at the dollar store. But I spend too much money anyways. <laughs> Might as well work with what I actually have. Okay, so there's my dark blue. I'm gonna pour the excess back inside the container. done with that one. I'm going to go back in with the Ravenclaw. That's the middle color of the teals. It's a mix between the blue, blue and the light teal. back in. Now I'm going to move to Weekend at Bernie's and do the lighter teal on the bottom. Mm, 
making sure to turn all the way around. Tap the excess off. Don't mix it with my golden white. Hi, Stephanie. I'm gonna pour the excess back in here and then I'm going to move back to the gold. So now I'm going back to the gold member. And I'm really just gonna dump it on there. Making sure that all of the um, wet spots of epoxy that are still not covered, making sure that those are completely covered. Go around the rim of it. Make sure there's no blue in there. Mm. And I can see that I have no real wet spots of epoxy on the white, so I'm just gonna go back over it just for safe measure. And I'm going back in with the true white. I'm not going back in with the opal. I have enough opal glitter on there and I don't wanna overdo it. So I'm just gonna dump my white on there. So there is the glitter for our traditional beach tumbler. Can you guys see this, how pretty it sparkles? And this is very, very well blended. The blues are really pretty. They all just kind of color shift into each other. There's no solid lines anywhere. There is our traditional. So it has its layer of epoxy on it. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this down and let it dry. These tumblers, I'm doing a 30 ounce skinny. I would recommend mixing at least 30, maybe 40 milliliters total of epoxy. Just because you're gonna do a good amount on your tumbler and you're also going to be mixing your epoxy with different colored acrylic paints. So you wanna have a little extra left over. Okay. So tonight we are going to start with the traditional beach tumbler. And with the traditional beach tumbler, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a good layer of epoxy on my tumbler. And then after I put the layer of epoxy on my tumbler, I'm going to pour a little bit of epoxy in my acrylic cups and I am going to stir those. And then I'm gonna let everything sit for a good five minutes. So the colors that I'm using that I'm going to be swirling across the beach tumbler tonight are the Deco Art Sapphire. This is going to go on the dark blue on the top. The other one I have is the Deco Art Peacock Teal. And the other one is just a plain acrylic white, just a plain white. Nothing special about that. So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting a layer of epoxy on my tumbler. Like I said, I'm going to do a decent layer. I'm going to do a good layer on here. making sure that it is completely covered in epoxy. I want a good layer on here. And these colored glitters really did turn out super beautiful. 
this blue and um, turquoise or teal is just, it's beautiful. Make sure to get it towards the rim. Making sure that there is a nice layer on here. Earlier, you ladies, whoever's doing these with me, should have already um, sealed your tumblers with clear acrylic sp uh, spray paint this morning. Clear acrylic paint. And also should have um, done your first layer of epoxy already. So this is my second layer of epoxy covering the glitter second layer of epoxy covering the glitter. I always do the swirl on the second layer. Especially with these because you have more control over it. And then after I get this layer of epoxy on here, I am going to go over with my torch and make sure I get all of the bubbles off of here. Any little bubbles that I have, any little micro bubbles. Okay, there's that. Okay, so I have some leftover epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and I have three cups that I have poured a little bit of acrylic paint in and I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of epoxy in each one and mix it. These are going to be our swirls. And you really don't need a lot of epoxy at all for these. Um, just enough to do a couple swirls on your tumbler. And we're not going to overdo it with the swirls either. Okay. So here are my little acrylic cups. I have um, my light teal is not going on my original beach timber tumbler. My light tail is going on my sunset uh, tequila sunrise tumbler. So I'm going to go ahead and take this glove off really quick. And I am going to torch these, get all of the bubbles out of this. So I'm slowly going to torch it, just hitting it quick. You don't want to hit it too long and risk burning your epoxy. So just very lightly hitting it. Let it go around a couple times. You just want to get all those little micro bubbles out. Make sure to hit the bottom. my tequila sunrise tumbler just hitting it real lightly nothing crazy letting it spin a couple times so that I get all those little micro bubbles out I know you guys can't see this one but when I go to swirl it I will shift the camera I will tilt it for you guys to see Look 
tumbler to see if I can see any micro bubbles. Looks pretty good, but I'm just going to be safe. Rather be safe than sorry. Because we all know those little micro bubbles dollar cut. Real fast. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with the torch. Putting the torch away. Okay. So now that I have put a good layer of epoxy onto my beach tumbler, I'm going to go ahead and stir together these acrylic paint epoxy cups. I'm going to stir these together so they have time to sit up, uh, set up as well. Get a brand new popsicle stick for the white because I don't want any colors in the white. So all three of those are stirred, and I actually think I'm going to go in with this blue right now because it's already getting tacky. Ooh, if I didn't make it too tacky. Okay, so this blue I'm just going to swirl, and as you guys know when I do my swirls, I pick up the popsicle stick and I just pull the popsicle stick away from the cup over, um, over our tumbler. So I'm just going to lightly do it. I don't want super crazy um, acrylic paint. I just want really, really light acrylic paint. I'm doing the dark blue right over, right over the blue. guys see me slowly but surely I'm just stripping it back and forth across the tumbler I'm going to bring a couple swirls on down um, right over where the blue meets the teal. Okay, there is that. And I'm going to hit this with a heat gun after to warm it up and to get everything moving. Okay, now I have my teal. I'm just slowly going to do the same thing. And I don't want a crazy amount. 
And if you see you ever have, like there's a couple spots where I have a little too much acrylic, like blobs, don't worry. You can just take your popsicle stick and run them right over them. Which I'm gonna do right now and I will show you. So I have a couple blobs here. I'm just gonna run my popsicle stick right over them. Separate them, pull them out. Okay. So now that I have these, I'm going to kind of just work my popsicle stick up and down, kind of in a motion, swirling it back and forth like waves, nothing crazy. And you can use anything you have, stir stick, popsicle stick, whatever you have. And the good thing about this is you can really just work it how you want it. If you see a spot you don't like, you can totally go over with your popsicle stick. It's not gonna ruin it. It's not gonna do anything crazy to it. There's a little too much right here. My blue looks pretty good. There's that, and now we have white. So with the white, this is what I do. So I have this little doodad here, and this is, like, I think it's like a little butter scraper or something. This isn't even anything fancy, but you can do it with anything you have. I just like using this because I like using the edge of it. You can use your popsicle stick though. So I'm gonna go over with white, and I'm kind of just gonna do a little swirl, kind of bring it up and down. Give it a feel um, of kind of ocean waves. Nothing crazy. I don't want to overdo the white. I don't want to go crazy with it. And I like to do the white, like I said, kind of like waves. I do little, you know, up and down swirls. I throw a little swirlies in there. And I mean, you can really add as much or as little as you want. Um, it's all preference. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit into the gold, like just the very top of the gold. And I'm just gonna slowly put a tiny bit on top, on the very top of the gold. I like to kind of pull my white up and make it look more like waves. Once it starts spinning, you're not really, I mean, honestly, it's all gonna start running together and you're gonna see it really blend. This over here, this over here, and this over here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heat gun and I'm gonna hit this for a minute. Okay, so I have my heat gun and I'm just gonna put it on low and I'm just gonna slowly hit this so that it starts doing its thing and starts running. Starting to run. Let's see 
it all running right now. And it's just going to give it that softer look. It's slowly going to start moving. And as the tumbler cures, you'll see it um, start to move and give it a softer look. It won't look as harsh or any harsh lines. I don't want to like overdo it, but I want to make sure everything starts moving. Okay. So that's about good right there. That's where I want to stop with this. Um, can you guys see this? That's where I want to stop with this. It's starting to run. It's still, I can see it's still moving. All of it is still moving. So I'm going to let it do its thing. It's going to cure overnight. Um, cure overnight and as it spins, it's going to keep running around and do its thing. The ocean waves are going to get softer, lighter. They're going to spread out. They're not going to be as pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and let that spin overnight. <laughs> 